Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another love reading. In particular with this video Cancer, we are going to do a follow on video from the reading that I did a couple of days ago whilst I was on a little mini getaway. If you didn't catch that uh, reading, I will endeavor to link it in the show more section below or the drop down box or I will endeavor to pin it to the comment section, okay? Please do not crucify me if I forget, but I will endeavor to do that. And the reason being is because one of my beautiful uh, followers um, requested that I specifically dive into this person's actions. So with that being said, uh, in this video, I'm going to break it down we're going to take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. We're going to take a look at their actions and any possible advice spirit has for you at this time. Okay. Do remember cancer. This is a general reading. It isn't going to resonate for all of you, but if you're finding that it's resonating or if you're finding that you're getting some guidance or um, some advice, um, from this video then please let me know like share subscribe drop your comments in the comment section below let me know which which part of the reading best you know resonated for you let me know if i mention the sign of your person um also okay all of it is very helpful and it's very useful so thank you cancer okay so let's dive on in let's take a look at your energy so spirit please show us the energy of cancer dealing in love okay so we've got the world okay spirit please show us the energy oh and i'm using the deck that we used the other day um just for continuity also okay spirit please show us the energy of cancer dealing in love spirit please show us the energy of cancer Dealing in love. Oh, the cards are quiet. Okay, what have we got here? The Four of Cups. Okay. So you're ready to put something behind you, I feel, with the World Card. Because the World Card speaks to a completion of a cycle, Cancer. And I'm pretty sure... I'll take the first card. I'm pretty sure in the, in the original video, or in the first video... Um, there was a completion of a cycle. So I see here with the world card that you are ready to close out a chapter or you're ready to put um, the current situation behind you, okay, and, and begin again. So this is speaking to endings and new beginnings here, Cancer. Okay, camera's a little wonky, but anyway. Okay, with the Four of Cups, Cancer... The Four of Cups is telling me that it's been a one-sided situation for you. Okay, you have felt like the input has been one-sided, maybe of late or recently. Because I'm looking at these Four Cups and they're kind of leaning to one side. And because you're a water sign, um, you're feeling like what you've been pouring into or investing into the relationship has been more than what the other person has been giving you. So you may feel, you may feel um, it hasn't been equal or it hasn't been mutual of late. Okay. Hmm. On your end, Cancer, you're feeling like this person has lost interest. Okay. But I also see for some of you, not for all of you, for some of you with the Five of Wands, I see for some of you that you want this person to fight for you. Okay. You might be 
See, if you look at this woman in the card, she's kind of like closed off. You know, she's kind of just sitting there sort of kind of like in a fetal position. She's not doing anything, but we've got five, she's got five wands around her. So I see, I see you kind of acting a little bit of a princess, acting like a bit of a princess. I'm seeing this as Rapunzel, you know, acting like a bit of a princess and seeing if this prince will rescue you. Because if this prince comes in and rescue, rescues you, it's going to reveal their true feelings for you. And so at this point, Cancer, you're feeling like um, testing this person, if you will, um, seeing if they will reach out to you or fight for you. Um, give you some kind of attention which will reassure you that they are very much interested. Because I do see with the world card here that you are open. You are open to having a new beginning with this person. Okay. But the world card speaks to fixed energy because we've got all the fixed zodiac signs in this card. So right now, I don't feel you are budging. I don't feel that you are making any moves because you're waiting for the other person to make the moves. Hmm. All right, so let's take a look at your person's energy. Spirit, please show us the energy of the person that Cancer is dealing with in love. Okay, this is lovely because we've got the Three of Cups here. May have to move the cards. Spirit, please show us the energy of the person that Cancer is currently connecting to in love. Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we'll just move the cards up a bit. Okay, that's better. So I do see um, with the Three of Cups that this person would like to reunite with you. Um, they would like to reconnect or reconcile here with you. However, they're in a bit of a, uh, they're in a state of distress over it. Okay, um, I do feel that this person is all up in their head currently about a reunion or a reconciliation. Mm. Okay, they're worried, their fears are sort of like coming up to the surface. They may be feeling doubtful. Okay, because the Nine of Swords is, it's overthinking. Um, they may be feeling doubtful that you would be interested in a reconciliation. And, I, you know, the Nine of Swords is, it's analysis paralysis. So this person is in a state where they're kind of overanalyzing what their heart desires to the point that they're paralyzing themselves and then they're not taking any action. Mm. I do feel though with the Nine of Pentacles that um, you're connecting to someone here that, I'm getting two messages. You're connecting to someone here that is very single and unattached and they could just be focusing on their career or their finances right now. They're focusing on their stability. Okay, this is someone who is seeking uh, comfort and stability in their material world. <coughs> the other message I'm getting here, Cancer, is this person may be portraying um, that they're doing fine okay they're doing fine um, they might be coming across as very confident uh, very self-assured 
but the nine of swords here tells me behind closed doors it's a different scenario and a different situation going on here mm. can we um take a look at this nine of swords let's just break it down we're going to clarify yeah the ten of cups so again when when i look at this ten of cups it's the way the image is presenting to me we've got um we've got four cups here we've got four cups there and we've got um two people here and you're holding one cup and they are holding another and to me it's speaking of reciprocity so what this person is doubtful of is um they're they're doubting that you would want to reciprocate this reunion or they're feeling doubtful that you won't want to you know revisit this connection or they are feeling doubtful that you won't want to catch up with them again hmm and I'm seeing all the moons or the phases of the moon in this card. So the fear here would be maybe too much time has passed. Okay. And yeah, too much time has passed. They may fear too much time has slipped by. Can we clarify the five of wands for cancer, please? Yeah, Cancer, you're so funny because the Eight of Wands is um, incoming communication. And so I see you with the Five of Wands not doing anything in this card. You're not doing anything. You're waiting for this person to approach you. Okay, you want to see how invested they are. You're, you want to see how willing... Um, how far they're willing to go to connect with you to catch up with you to make contact with you that's what i'm seeing here all right so let's take a look at hopefully that explains your energy and their energy let's take a look at their actions spirit let's take a look at this person's actions Spirit, please show us the person's actions or any possible action the, this person will make towards Cancer. Now, this reading, Cancer, will be good for whenever you come across it, okay? It's not time specific. It's just that whenever you come across this video, you are meant to hear this message. First card is the Ace of Wands. Beautiful, because this person is inspired to take action okay and the ace of wands speaks to passionate new beginnings so i do feel that they would like to have a new beginning here with you they're still very much attracted to you okay it's it's not a question of whether or not they're it's not a question of whether or not they're not attracted they are still very much attracted to you again two of pentacles so this person is kind of weighing up weighing up whether or not they should be the first person to reach out they could just be weighing up um, the right time to reach out okay two of pentacles the two is it's it's a decision it's a decision that this person is needing to make so they're just weighing it up right now i feel okay we've got the magician here so look at the bottom of the at the bottom of the deck i just i had to show you cancer is the sun card um so you could be dealing with a leo here i'm just going to pop it there okay so the magician tells me here that this person there's no excuses there's no excuses um 
as to why this person shouldn't make contact with you or shouldn't reach out. There's no excuses. We can see here that this person would like to manifest a new beginning here with you. Okay. Hmm. The sun card speaks to warmth. So this person would need to feel like they're getting the attention from you before they reach out. Isn't that weird? Can we clarify the sun card? But the sun card is, um, it's positive. Okay, so it's more than likely um, that this person will reach out and contact you. Because the sun is sun is here. But can we, because I just want to clarify this sun card. Okay, the guardian of swords. So the guardian of swords is the queen of swords. So right now this person feels that you are distant with them. Or they feel that you are very detached or very cold. Um, that you're very withdrawn. So it's kind of like with the sun card, the action that they will, they will take towards you is to kind of like, I want to say butter you up. This, if, if they're going to take action, it's to butter you up. It's to feel the temperature in the room. I don't feel like they're going to do a whole lot though. Okay, they're not going to be like, they're not going to do a lot. And, and the reason why is because the Ace of Wands is here. So we're back, we're kind of like back to the drawing board. Or this person feels like they're back to the drawing board. Where they have to kind of start all over again, begin all over again. And they, they're going to be doing things to test your temperature, Cancer. Because right now they're viewing you as someone who is cold, distant, detached. Um, maybe, um, you know, the, the Guardian of Swords, she doesn't take any BS. And this person is aware of it because they've got the Magician card here. Okay. They are also very well aware with the Two of Pentacles that they're going to have to prioritize you or they're going to have to prioritize this connection. So right now, um, when it comes to this person's actions, I feel like they're kind of like weighing up whether this is a priority or not. Is it a priority to reach out to cancer? You know, they're kind of just weighing it up. Can we clarify the two of pentacles? I feel like it's clear, but yeah. Six of wands. Hmm. Yeah, and, and I feel like they need to be confident. This person needs to be confident that when they do attempt to reach out, that it's going to be successful, that it's going to work out. Um, hmm. Because if they don't feel confident that it's going to be a successful result, then I feel that they won't do anything, cancer. Okay. Okay. I am seeing the butterfly here in the Ace of Wands. So I do see maybe some changes on the cards. Um, and I feel that when and if this person does reach out Cancer, you're going to notice some changes to um, with, with this person. You're going to notice some changes. It could be just physical changes. Um, it could be behavioral change. Um, but I feel, I want to say the changes will be for the better. Okay. Changes will be for the better. 
So let's grab a last parting message or advice or whichever comes first, Cancer. Spirit, what messages or last parting message or advice do you have for our Cancerians tuning into this reading, please? What pa uh, last parting message or advice, Spirit, do you have for our Cancers tuning into this reading? We've got, oh my goodness, a change in the wind. Okay, so I want to say, Cancer, um, hold on to your hats. <laughs> hold on to your hats um, because this situation that you're currently in is set to change. Okay, it may feel like an unexpected change, but a change is coming. Yeah. A change is coming and I also feel here with these two cards that this person will attempt to break the silence between you mm. and again a change in the wind is confirming to me that there are some changes that this person has undergone okay they've gone through some kind of change maybe growth um, in their life Hmm. There's definitely a change in direction with where they are headed or where they are heading also. So there's your reading, Cancer. Let me know in the comment section below how this reading best resonated for you. Let me know if I mentioned the sign of your person also, as that would help me to connect your energy better for a more clearer and accurate read. And until next time, Cancer, stay well. Bye, guys.